Welcome to another Crafting with Roswell. Today we'll be making layered canvas art using the 6x6 canvas panel from your kit, cardstock cutouts, you'll have two different animals, an elephant and a giraffe, along with these other pieces that will all be used. You'll receive a craft stick and a toothbrush. Yours will be wrapped in plastic. Next up, you'll need a paintbrush, foam brush to quickly do your background color in whatever colors you would like. I have four different colors using black as my background, gray, purple accents. Rinse water for my toothbrush, paper towels to help protect my surface area, along with drying off brushes as needed. So to get started, we will need to remove the plastic from our canvas panel. Give my paint a quick shake and then I'm going to be using black as my background color. Whatever you paint your background color is the color your landscape along the bottom and your animal silhouette will end up being for your finished project. You may want to watch the video through one time to see the steps to then make color choices. Now that my first layer has dried, it's still a little streaky for me, so I'm going to add a little more and do another second coat of the black. Once that is dry, we can start our next steps with the actual cardstock templates. You can choose between your elephant, your giraffe, you can use both. So I'm going to use the elephant because, um, the giraffe, because I happen to know a giraffe lover in my life. Just fixing the tail a little bit. And then this piece is meant to kind of mimic the moon or the sun, depending on the version you would like to create for your project. So we're going to kind of line up your animal on your canvas in a way that they're showing into your moon or sun and a little above the bottom of your canvas to allow room for the landscape along the bottom as well. So not completely covering over their legs, but kind of partially covering their legs. And again, when you see the finished result, it all makes a little more sense. But I've decided to do a moon theme. So I am going to be using a light gray paint for my background color of my moon. This acrylic paint is a little thick. If you find that you're dealing with a, a paint that's a little too thick, just add a little bit of water into it and then just give it a good mix with your toothbrush because we are now going to be using the toothbrush for the last few painting steps and creating a splatter effect for our moon. So rather than painting it in, we are going to be flicking paint at our canvas to create the silhouette for our giraffe. I highly recommend using the craft stick. Practice off the side of your canvas before you get started. So I hold the toothbrush steady and I flick the craft stick towards myself which actually then flicks the paint away from me. Be very careful that you're not accidentally flicking paint at yourself. Um, hopefully you're not wearing perfect clothing when you make this project. Give yourself um, a little practice off the side to see the direction of your flicking and then it'll become 
habit. This is obviously sped up. You just keep, keep reloading your brush and keep doing your splatter effect until you have enough coverage of your background color around your giraffe that you're satisfied with. So you may find that you need to add a little more paint, a little more water to that, mix it up, and continue splattering. And you can see from the overspray, to minimize cleanup at the end, highly recommend using a silicone mat if you have one nearby, or a nice layer of paper towels around your immediate work area to minimize cleanup at the end. I'm going to add in a little bit of silver. And once that has dried, I'm going to carefully remove the top square, leaving my giraffe still in place. Next, I'm going to cover over my moon or your sun with the circle cut out, lining it up as closely as you can to where your paint splatters were, and then add your landscape along the bottom. So I'm not at the very bottom and I'm not up too high. So just enough where I can still see the legs of my giraffe and the outline of my moon. And I'm going to paint the background color a purple. So I need to clean off my toothbrush from some of that gray to then switch over to using a purple. So I'm going to again add a little bit of water to it to thin it just a little bit. I find that really helps you be able to do the splatter effect on the toothbrush. I'm just kind of tapping the paint so it's not too loaded on there. Giving my craft stick a quick clean off. Doing a little test spray again and then moving on in to my background. And just keep filling until you're satisfied with the pattern that you've achieved and your coverage. So once you've painted your background color, now it's time to carefully remove your pieces. You can wait for everything to completely dry. I'm not that patient. So I'm gonna move my, my, my moon and now my giraffe. And there is my finished art project. Something different for you to try. I hope you enjoy this as much as I did. A little bit messy but well worth it. Join me again next week for a new project.